All right, we're videoing, baby. Okay. We're gonna put some oils on Mara's knee because she has got a swollen knee. We're not sure what's going on, but we're gonna put some essential oils on it. And, I haven't uh, looked into it yet. I'm gonna contact some people and look some stuff up, but in the meantime, I wanna do something to help her. So. Yeah, we're gonna do some research, but all right. Anti-inflammatory, anti-inflammatory, anti-bacterial um, type. Oil. In case it's an infection. Yeah. Yeah. Grab her and bring her over. Hey, Laura. Hey, Laura. Then you got the left side. Come here, girl. Look, she thinks something's up. Of course she's back. She's like, hmm, I don't want them to get me or not. Okay. I just have them mixed up. It's coconut oil with the other oils. I'm going to bring her over there. I'll come over there and pour them in my okay. hand. Hey, girl. Full one. Right here. Um, all right, she Mara. seems sore. She's definitely she sore. Mm. I'm thinking it's right. an injury. She's had all her old testing done before we got her. And she comes from a clean herd. You know, CAE free and all that. So, um, Mara. we're thinking she's twisted it. Or yeah, it I know, her. it hurts, baby. I'm sorry. Be. Yeah. Those oils should help her feel better Good and help girl, take Mara. the swelling down. Good Poor. Girl. You know she's hurting because she's really friendly and when you yep. mess with her, she's always just loves to be loved on. So, poor thing. But I wanted to Fingers do something. Fingers over there down on the chaff, hey? Yeah. See, <laughs> she loves her goatee scratches. Let me put the little one. We got to let the horses back in. Is, they, is Ruby finished? Yep. yep. All right, let's look. Let me open this gate and I'll go let pepper over too. You want to keep that jar out here on the... Uh, yeah. Look, here comes pepper. pepper. She knows the routine. Yep. It's nice once your animals learn the routine. Yeah. Hey, Gabby. Come on, Mara. Even with the sore knee, she's following me. Oh, yeah, pepper. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Feeling her oats. She's got water over here. What's she doing? Going to eat? Eat uh, that chaff hay. Chaff hay. Yep. She knew she was ready. Yeah, let me. I forgot they, they didn't eat all that chaff hay. How much did they leave? I'm going to look and see. Hey, Tango. Hey, miss. Tango, look at your wide self. Hey, fat girl. How many babies you got in there? Hmm, Tango. <laughs> You're still on the chaff, hey? Yeah, there's probably a quarter of a bucket still. Oh, yeah. They'll eat that later on this evening. For sure. Ruby could have it, but... But the, um, everybody else will eat it. Right. I don't mind the steers eating it, but the pepper sure doesn't need it. She's a fatty. <laughs> she does not need it. Your horse is fat, Emma. Pepper and tango don't need it. Miss Mara, look at your knees. Yeah. Mara. All right. Hey, girl. Hey, Mara. Um, our fencing. We're going to take our fence and then turn it and go around this post up here so it'll actually both sides and then the same thing over here because right now it kind of our fencing goes straight through the middle of this pole barn giving the animals some shelter but we're going to turn it and come here once we build the other pole barn and then all this the gate and the fencing will go to there those posts. Yeah. So our feed room could actually be on either side. Huh? Oh no, our feed room still needs to be on that side, but just farther back. There's nothing preventing us from building our feed room in here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We well, we just want to make sure the animals aren't don't have access to it at all. Well, as long as it, well, it'll have a door. Yes, I know, but 
there's lots of small it. hands that leave doors open. Oh, no, <laughs> we could build it here. Yeah, that would actually work really well. And then that would clear up all that space. We'll probably leave that blocked off and just have the other pole barn for shelter because we're going to yeah. have all another pole barn. Absolutely. That's what I was saying. Even if we build it here before we build our pole barn, we can build it right here and it'll just, the animals can have from here yeah. over until we get the other pole barn built. Yep. And that'll work perfectly. That'll be good. Yeah, let's do that. I like right, that plan. That sounds like a good plan. Because I have, I think it's 10 feet between these posts, like to the center. So you can do it. Yep. We, do eight by we have a plan. <laughs> and we have the materials to build a pole barn. <clears throat> I mean, not a pole barn, but a feed room. So we can get that done and get the feed out of our horse trailer. And, the and saddles. storage and saddles off of the back of, of the couch. couch. <laughs> yep. All right. <clears throat> and a lot of this mess, the power tools and things can be stuck in there. Mm -hmm. My equipment shed, actually the power tools can go back in the equipment shed. My equipment shed can be cleaned out from all the storage. Yes, this Cause it's, be good. it's eight by 12. We're gonna build an eight by eight. I feel certain we can fit feed, <clears throat> saddles, and the stuff in there that's being stored. I think so. Yeah, all right. that'll be awesome. Sounds good. I missed you riding it, babe. There you go. <laughs> Look at Jakey and Hope. Are you silly, Jacob? Hi, Lydia. There's Lydia. <laughs> okay. Hope is dressed by Jack. She has on pink leotards that have a cowboy boots printed on them and a camouflage shirt. She's so yummy. Can you talk gentle? Talk gentle. You want the door open? How does it open? Oh, like this. Just pull it, push it down. I can't see. Yeah, here you go. There you go, Jacob. It's like one of those baby gates, and I, you would think that I would be good at baby gates, but I can't open them for my life. <laughs> I'm just stuck. What are you doing, Hope? And I'm too short to climb them, so. What you hey, doing, little girl, Daddy. girl? You wearing Jack's... Are you my baby? This was Jack's shirt when he was a baby. Are you my little baby? I think Alan bought that for him, didn't he? I think so. Uncle Alan got that shirt. Hey, baby. All right, Jacob, let's see. You see Jacob way over there? I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a bald eagle right there. Yeah. That's not an eagle! It's a bird! It's a plane! No, it's a bald eagle! That's right. Flying away. Dust feeding chickens. Here's an update on our little baby chickens. Um, let me unplug this lamp for a minute so you can see better. We hatched five and they all successfully hatched, but we had two that just acted weaker from the get go and um, they ended up not making it. We tried, but they just. They didn't make it, but the other three are doing really well and they're very lively. So um, <laughs> we also forgot to get sawdust. So we have paper towels down here on the bottom of uh, our shavings, not sawdust. So we have paper towels in the bottom of their tote they're in right now. But they're doing really well. They're really cute. We got the two Americanas, or Americanas, I can't remember. And so I'm not sure what that one is. It's a, it's a cross. The rooster's an Americana. So, sure, baby doll. All right, we're fixing to eat some lunch. All right. All right, doolies. We are getting ready to eat. We have, um, this is the pork that I brined that I tried to make a really awesome ham out of. <laughs> that it didn't work out like I wanted, but. It's still good. So, Just wasn't yeah. exactly like you thought it would turn out. It's this. So I, I sliced it and put some on the grill with some barbecue sauce, and it is awesome. Very tender and juicy. So anyway, all right, are y'all ready to pray? You ready to pray, Jakey? Yeah. All right. 
Thank you, Jesus, for this food, and thank you for this day. God, we ask that you bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies. Help you give us good strength and energy for the rest of the day, Lord God. I pray that you would just bless our day in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right.